Okay, we're good. Hey there, guys. It's Metro. It's been a long time since I streamed this way, so I always want to make 100% sure we're back, but we're good. And I'll tell you what, some things have changed since the last time we recorded one of these. Now, last time, if you caught up on that, we had not recorded from like April until September. This has only been a couple weeks. Not even, I think it's like two weeks maybe. Um, and I said I wasn't going to record again until the pre-patch came out, but that was before they delayed the expansion. So if you're from the far future, you may not know, but they delayed the expansion at some point. First time an expansion's ever been delayed. And I will say that uh, I, it really took me by surprise, first of all. But then they also confirmed the pre-patch for a date that was later than I expected as well. They had given two-week notice, so I expected it to be last week. It's now the coming week, and I am excited for that, of course. But one thing that I am not excited for, and I assume is some kind of oversight, is they are making all of these items. So you see how this is still BFA, of course. So you see this is eye level 80. And requires level 70. So this is like an item that you should get from the Burning Crusade, right? Well, in Shadowlands pre-patch, that's not going to be the case anymore. This item is going to be a level 50 required level item. And it's going to actually be item level 80 still or something? I, yeah, it's like they basically took all the max level stuff from classic TBC Wrath, all the expansions prior to BFA, and combined them into one progression thing. Which I don't understand why they would do that. Uh, but even if they did it, it's not the end of the world because there's a bunch of other things in the game like that already. And then there's now an optional reagent. So if you haven't seen the video I made on that a long time ago, there's now an optional reagent that allows me to scale this item from max level 50 to max level 15 or something like that. And there's five different tiers of those reagents but they're not present on a lot of gear. And I don't know if that's an oversight or what, but like, I think probably these two these two items here, it'd be present on. So I'm thinking like, okay, well, so it's the non-max level crafting stuff. But then I start looking at other professions like blacksmithing. The best one is blacksmithing. The Imperial Plate Set. Uh, you may know it looks very iconic. Um, the helmet can use an optional reagent and the chest cannot. So I have to imagine it's just some kind of oversight. I don't know what's going on there. I don't think that I can't see how that's intentional. Um, but yeah, certainly, uh, it, it, yeah, there's no way that that's that shouldn't be like that. But it is. So I just want to get this part done, get this part in, because I want to make this freaking belt. I've wanted to make this belt for like a year and a half now. I want to have this set. So what we need to do is we need to find primal water. Um, don't I have like? Didn't I put auctions up? I can't tell because I don't have a, uh, a map or anything, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm pretty sure I put a bunch of things on auction. Let's see if they sold. Oh, Boglord Tendril sold. Oh, the water. Wait, I sold the water. I sold the water. Not what I... I was just about to buy water. <laughs> yeah, so I sold a bunch of things. The rest did not sell. That's fine. We'll just hang on to the rest for now because you never know what's going to change next week. But I needed the water anyway. I don't know why I was selling it. Oh, I think because the water was like really overpriced or something. I, I can't remember. Uh, so what do we actually need here? We So I, I'm like, this is the part. The goal is to make... Okay, good. We can now make Primal Mooncloth. All right. Uh, yeah, the goal is to make this belt. So that takes 10 minutes and that's it. But I just really wanted to get this done beforehand. So we need one more Primal Mooncloth. And then in the crafting of that one, we'll have lost one Primal Life. So we will know, now need Primal Life. Uh, we can buy some. Can't buy enough though, can we? We can we can, be, we can buy four. Oh, we can. It's interesting. Do I want to buy four? Uh, uh, let's just buy two. We'll buy three. Let's buy three. We'll go. I don't know. I want to. I want to do something. I don't want to just buy it and make it. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out in between sessions. Well, I mean, this might be really f not like me saying this is more than just like, hey, just a heads up. This is like, oh, no, no, this is going to shape the rest of the series here, because if we can't actually craft gear that we can use anymore, then this is a completely pointless endeavor. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but we're going to find out on Tuesday. I think it's going to be uh, probably just going to be like that. And I don't I don't know if it's even on their radar. It doesn't I don't think anybody else on the planet does what I do with this game. So. Um, I'm probably one of the only people who actually care about this, but 
I think it's got to be an oversight. I mean, there's been oversights in the game for a very long time, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if that one stayed. Uh, but yeah, definitely got to be an oversight. Like, there's no reason that some pieces should have the optional reagent and some pieces shouldn't. I, I can't see a reason. Maybe there is a reason. If anybody can think of it, let me know, but I, I can't think of a reason. Like, especially in that situation that I described with the plate set, like... Imperial Plate Helm has the optional reagent to lower it to 15. It's a max level item. It's level 50 required to equip and item level 80. And then the chest, max level item, level 50 required to equip, level 80 item level, does not have an optional reagent. Meaning you, the only way you could equip that item is if you're 50. So maybe, you know, it's not 100% clear on that. Like So what they're doing is they're, they're trying to keep professions useful at non, like for the different chromie times. So like, for example, like BFA professions, since you could start in BFA at level 10 now, you wouldn't even be able to learn anything from BFA at level 10. You know what I mean? Like if they kept the same level after the squish, you wouldn't even be able to pick anything up until you're level like 40 or maybe, maybe even higher than that. I don't know what it would squish to. So it'd be completely pointless. You'd never get anything out of the profession. So that's why they're doing this. They're like, okay, so now you'll be able to pick it up. You can train it. You can learn it. You can do everything you want to do with the profession. The gear is still going to be higher than you could equip at level 10, but you could use an optional reagent to change that. I love the concept. Um, they messed it up again recently, though, by adding another optional, another reagent to the optional reagent, which is going to cost a lot of money to make. But if I have to, you know, bend the rules about money, I will. It's really, it, sh it shouldn't be that much money, but... Regardless, I love the concept, and I'm really excited to see the system. It's just the main function of these Nomad leveling challenges with professions attached was to make good gear. Like, max level gear that I could also want for, like, you know, I wouldn't mind having the transmogs and stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? So, that's another thing. How many transmogs do we down have here? I haven't done have this one. We, we can't even get the transmogs afterwards. Like, we, you know, even... We can't even, like, equip the piece, so we can't get the transmogs. I wanted to get all of these. That that was my goal with this series, was to get all these transmogs. Oh, also, let me queue for a dungeon. Uh, which one? I think we need... Yeah, we already have them selected. I don't know why I would need all four of those, but... There must be patterns in there. So that's that. We're gonna go grind. We need nine total, so we need... We need, like, one and a half, basically, so... Gonna be a shorter one, I guess. Um, and then we're going to make this belt, and then we're going to wait for the pre-patch, because you know, we could try to get other stuff done, but I don't have a lot of time today, so I want to uh, maximize that time. And then that's it for Primal Mooncloth. We will not make any more gear with that. So then I want to make Spellfire, I think. I'll make Spellfire belt. But I'd like to have the set bonus. That Spellfire set is way better, though. I should have made that for... I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It was a little nostalgia because on all these TBC private servers I played, I always, uh... Primal Mooncloth healers. Okay, now another big thing is Warlock is going to be changing substantially, too, so... Um... This will be a completely different playthrough next time we play this. We'll have lost most of... I can't remember how you play this spec. Not like that. I don't even have a pet out, yeah. Anyway, um... Okay, so, not good. But hey, that's right. Anyways, <laughs> no, what I was going to say is, though, it's going to be, like, a completely different spec. They're, they're, they're getting, like, crazy new talents, Destro. Uh, and I'm going to lose Infernal for a while because I'll be lower level. Like, they're rebalancing what, what we get where, so that's one of the last times I'll ever use Infernal. Well, not ever, but it's one of the last times I'll use Infernal on this character. It didn't work out well. Surprised that I died so quick, though. I thought last time we did this, we were, like, crushing it. We had gotten really overpowered after creating this gear. Because it's basically, like, really powerful gear for now. It's going to get worse over time. The mobs are going to scale up, but it's not... It's going to be a while from now, I think. Um, but, yeah, I would like to replace all these items, too, at some point. The, the, the goal of the series isn't necessarily get to 60. Or 50, or whatever it's going to be. It's to get... A bunch of good transmogs and shit too like that's that's another thing i'd like to do so yeah i think oh wow 12 oh my god and what does spell cloth require mana 
and Primal Fire. I'm surprised I have Primal Mana. Bolt of Imbued Nether Weave too. We go. We got a lot of work ahead of us, guys. We're not really getting cloth anymore either. That's kind of a problem. There's a lot of a lot of farming to be done here. Oh, that was quick. Is it gonna res me or what? How's this gonna work? Don't think I've ever taken a cue while dead. I'm sure I did at some point, but I don't remember how it works. Forgot about these treasures. I've been leveling so much on the beta and PCR without this add-on that I forgot these treasures even existed. Pretty powerful stuff. Ah, I'll be interested to see actually how the treasures work in Shadowlands, because I don't actually know. Be a good question. Another reason I wanted to stream this today, though, was because I had changed a quality setting on my microphone or on my um, stream. So I want to see what the difference is here. I think the typical. Let's see how long the queue is. Where the hell's my body? There it is. Oh, we are alive. I see. I assume. I don't even know what's in here, to be honest. I have no idea. All I know is I need a pet. Well, actually, I should probably not get that pet out. What's the interrupt pet? Oh, it doesn't matter anymore, right? Never did with Destro, but... So what do I do? Put a emo on both targets? Try to keep up? That'll be the hard part. Chaos bolts. The pet, or the infernal is obviously doing work, but I don't have details and I won't be interested in using it, so no big deal. Oh, we could get moats from those guys too, that's something else to consider. Oh, we could also get moats of water, I think, from these guys. Rain of Fire, oh, I'm dead. Rain of Fire is probably a good idea, right? Not sure how the hell, did I have threat? <laughs> That's surprising. Okay, we need to get a pet out again. That's right, everybody skips these freaking, uh, all the stuff I would need from here. I don't actually remember what I'm even looking for. I assume a pattern drops off the last boss or something. But I know I need it, so I figured might as well take the opportunity. Especially since this will be a shorter one. Might as well try to elongate it a little bit. I have plenty of time. I, by noon I wanted to go, so we've got about an hour and a half. I really don't know how to play this spec at all. Especially in dungeons. Use Infernal, I know that much. I do feel like we should put this on everything though, right? Or maybe only on like big packs. We should have done that. I really like Reign of Fire though. There's this crazy new talent for Destro called Reign of Chaos. It looks so freaking cool. But I don't think, uh, I don't know when we'll get it, but I don't think we're gonna have it immediately. Oh, we got a green. That's nice. We could also use gear to DE, so it's pretty valuable. Jeez, yeah, by the time I get the full, like, rotation out, it's mobs are dead already. What's going on there? Didn't even know you could do this. <laughs> oh, skip the one pack. Seems worth it. There's an interrupt on one of these mobs in there. I can't remember what it is. Not that. It's probably just the fear that I remember having problems with. Yeah. Oh, we got our water or our, um, our infernal out. Maybe we'll save it for the boss, though. I was going to say if we pull like a really big trash pack, we should definitely. I mean, the pet's going to aggro, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, there's the fear. 
And fear into the boss. Yep. Is it going to reset if we pull it out here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's kill everything. We got all kinds of stuff. Interrupt that. Oh my god, taking a lot of damage. Oh yeah, it's probably from that tornado, huh? <laughs> Not the best range DPS. Really, first time I've ever played it. For some reason, we can release, though. Even though we're fighting a boss, I guess that's not a retroactive rule for all content. It's weird. Didn't expect that. Burning Rush. I knew we had some kind of speed boost. Of course, it tell it takes damage. We take damage from it as well. Bit weird. Did they kill it? Well, what just happened? Burning Rush went out because I went in the water? Is that what just happened? Or maybe because I was swimming. Regardless of water. It's probably uh, not related to actual water, but fun little concept there. Yeah, I've like made it back. The boss is still alive. That's funny. Um, well, we should probably go ahead and get a pet out again. And then we use Chaos Bolt. Good. This is great. Now Warrior's making all kinds of crazy plays. See him freaking uh, intervene to get out of that simple mechanic. Where is that I can run back though? This guy's in a cyclone. No loop. That guy uh, already activated the console, which is what we needed. I love this dungeon, though. One of my favorite dungeons. I hope that after Shadowlands launches, there's going to be a lot more people doing dungeons. Although, maybe there'll be less. With Chromie time being selective, there will be less people forced to level through this content. Although, I'm not really sure why anybody would be in this content anyway. 73. What the hell is this guy even doing? Oh, I guess he's... Yeah, I forgot. You can level to 80 now. I haven't leveled a character this way in, like, forever, basically. Like, through actual dungeons. I how much Rain of Fire actually does. Like, is it worth it? Should I be using, uh... I feel like I should be using, um... Chaos Bolt instead on these smaller packs. I guess I should obviously be using Conflagrate as often as I can too, right? I don't don't really understand fully. All right, this would be a nice pack for uh, for everything. Looks like we're gonna get it all. Just try to get that on as many targets as I can. Uh, the fear again. It's the siren. We could try to kill the siren. Okay, that was definitely... We had to have done top DPS that pack. That was perfect. I don't think that could have went any better. Going this way? Can't go that way yet, my friend. It is this way. Soul shards are running. They're going to be disappearing soon. Oh, wait, maybe that doesn't happen in dungeons. No, it does. <laughs> Pretty stupid. I don't know why they have to decay to three. I hate that. But I guess it's... I guess it probably happens with Paladin, too. I don't even know. So definitely not using Reign of Chaos or Fire on two targets, right? Okay. Warlock. So slow, I can't keep up with this. This guy's pace. Good thing, but I think like periodic damage is 
evading Ingram. <laughs> I was going to say periodic damage is fine when there's small targets like this. But they go away. TBC dungeons are something that's awesome too. I really like TBC dungeons. I do hope that there'll be more people doing dungeons because even though I don't plan on doing too many dungeons, it's nice to have a couple dungeons spattered through these playthroughs because we need patterns from them, so we have to do them. Maybe that wasn't clear when we set out on this uh, journey, but we got to get the patterns in order to make the gear. So I don't know. They're pretty rare, though, I'd imagine, the patterns. This guy's not... He didn't go away at that time. Probably because I was directly damaging him. Okay. If only we had freaking soul shards. That's it. I don't actually have any other AoE, huh? It's strange. Rain of Fire must do a lot of damage then. Scumbag, damn. I don't know about that. It's gonna be a while before the Infernal's out, though. Boss is like gonna be dead before it is, it looks like. Oh, we're getting experience from the mobs dying. Wow. That's funny. Whoa, what is that damage? I need to get hellstones. I guess we'll use this anyway. Oh, we're getting a lot of experience from them dying. Interesting. Probably should just not even kill the boss and just farm these small guys. Oh, again, no loot. We got cloth, though. It's pretty useful. Actually, that's a good thing about dungeons, to be honest. We could use the cloth. So what do we even have in this group? Death Knight, Paladin, Warrior. And... Paladin's the healer. We also have a hunter. <laughs> Can't even tell. 80, that guy's 80, this guy's 70, this guy's 71, and that guy's 73. That'd be nice though, because now we can queue for dungeons without needing to use Chromie Time. Or a level specific character, more so. Not Chromie Time, I mean uh, Party Sync is what I meant to say. In the other playthroughs we've done, which never been published because I never finished them, we needed to queue for dungeons specifically, and we couldn't do that because we were too high a level. Um, so we had to use a uh, Chromie, or we had to use Party Sync for that. At what level am I even? Oh, 73. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we haven't even exceeded this level yet. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I was like, wait, what happens if we ding 80 today? We're not going to be able to continue. But no, it won't matter. Because right now, once we're 80, we are meant to leave the zone, so... Not like we would, but we would be expected to by Blizzard. Oh, he's going all in, huh? Okay, there's a siren. Yeah, there it is. Let's get the... Focus on that thing, make sure it dies, or at least gets interrupted. There's the interrupt. Boom. I can play the game, don't say I can't. Just not Warlock. <laughs> Let's try to save Soul Shards, I guess, for the next pack. Who oh, always gonna just skip, isn't he? Yeah, forget it. Forget it. All of your kind? What the hell does that mean? Calithresh. Got two Chaos Bolts back to back there. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a talent that reduces Immolate. That's why it's so difficult to keep up. Oh, we have to kill that thing now? Forgot about that. Oh, what is that? Spell Reflect? Is that what that is? Oh yeah, well... <laughs> I do no damage anyway, so who cares? That was stupid using that. Should have saved it for coming out of the dungeon. All right, pattern. Wow, literally got nothing the whole run. Is that serious? We got no loot the entire run. What? Wow, that's hard to believe. Okay. 
Oh wait, how do I even leave the group? Uh, I don't know. Uh, slash reload. I don't actually know how I leave the group. Shit. Okay, well, we, might, we can queue up for one more. Specific. This is like decent experience too, I feel like. Okay, anyway, let's get back to what we want to be doing here. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna... We haven't gotten any. We made zero progress on this so far, right? Yeah. Uh, not Hydras. What's going on with those guys? We have a pet owl, but it's the wrong pet. I don't, don't know if that matters. Let's get to farming. Okay, so we need... We need four more to complete the one, and then we need another ten. So we need 14 moats, and that's it. Then we are done. If we get another dungeon in between then, we'll be happy. If not, that'll be it. Be like an hour long. And we already got two. Two. So I normally, when I do this stuff, I normally talk about random topics. One of the topics is usually sports. It's a weird time to talk about sports, though, because the Yankees are... There's some uh, interesting stuff going on right now, IRL. <laughs> Let's put it this way. The Yankees were down in the series. They're, in, they're playing the Tampa Bay Rays right now in the ALDS. By the time you watch this, the whole season will be over. But it is an interesting time to talk. I try not to talk about things that are like completely topical, like only going to re be relevant for one day kind of thing. But last night they won, and now there's a game five. Now this is a really weird postseason this year where there's no off days. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. There's no off days, so we have uh, five games straight. Okay, now. You know, a good deep team would have no problem with that, but I don't think anybody has five good starters anymore in 2020. So, um, what the Yankees are going to do is they're going to have Garrett Cole start the fifth game on four days or on three days rest, which is not abnormal in the postseason. But usually that would be like game three or four or something, I guess. Game four, probably. Um, so, they're going to have him start on four days rest, which he's never, three days, he's never done before. Literally never done before. This will be the first time he's ever started a game with three days rest. But that's mostly because he was on shit teams his whole life um, until the Astros. And I don't know what to expect from it. I actually am a little concerned. I'm like, wow, he's probably going to suck. But then the news came late last night that Tyler Glasnow, who I believe is the best pitcher on the Rays, honestly, he did not start game one for them. Blake Snell started game one for them. He was also good, but I don't. he did not, I don't know. He's not as good as he, he, he should be, I feel like. Um, he is not starting Game 5, like uh, this, the Game 1 Yankee starter Garrett Cole is. It's Tyler Glasnow, who is the Game 2 starter, meaning he's pitching on two days rest. Now, CC Sabathia did this a couple times for the Yankees, I think at least once. Um, well, I know, I know at least once, I just don't remember how many other times past that. Um, but I was really surprised to see this, because he's... Where is this at? He's pretty young, honestly, Glasnow. I don't know how young he is, but he's not old. Sabathia was already in his 30s when he did it for the Yankees, so maybe a little bit of a more mature decision at that point to do it. But two days rest. Now, Glasnow is also um, very unique for this reason. First of all, he's really, really tall. He's 6'8". Pretty rare thing for a pitcher nowadays, but obviously height is so important for power as a pitcher. If you remember Randy Johnson from the old days, um, it was just, he, he was just better because of his height. So yeah, he's a very good pitcher. I think he's probably one of the best pitchers in the league and he's got a really explosive strikeout stuff. But the problem is he's, I don't know if this is like something that's like real or not, but people talk about like him coming out flat some games, like just completely ineffective some games. And they always say, you can tell what start he's going to have like in the first inning, like he, he's not going to recover from it. There's no... If he's flat, he's done. He's not going to make it long. So I don't know if this is some kind of ploy. I'm thinking it is, because uh, the Rays and the Yankees have been kind of playing mind games a little bit here. I would not be surprised if it is. Let's put it that way. Um, but I would not expect him to go deep. Like, I think there's, like, a very sizable 
potential that he only goes one inning or something like that. Um, but one way or the other, two days rest for... I mean, this. let's put it this way. The last time the Rays were in the postseason, which was last year, not like it's like a decade ago or something, he was so bad that basically like a whole sign-stealing fiasco started with the, with the Astros, ironically. Um, he was like tipping his pitches, and I don't know if he still does that or what, but like he, they, he literally, he could not get it out. Like they knew every one of his pitches before he threw them, and I think he probably, I think he lasted like one inning in like a winner go home die or winner, win, what, what, winner die? I don't know. Yeah, winner go home game. Like it was like game four, and they were they needed to win basically. Uh, he pitched, and he literally was completely ineffective. So. I don't know. You never know uh, what's going to happen tonight. This is going to be a wild game, though. I cannot wait for this game tonight. It's probably going to be the most, one of the most exciting baseball games. The the AL um, wild card game against the Indians for the Yankees, though, was one of the most crazy baseball games I've ever watched, too. As a Yankees fan, obviously partial because they won, but it was a insane game. Like everything they could ever see in a baseball game happened. There was some really bizarre things. Um, but yeah, that was that was a while ago now. Oh wow, we're almost done already. Uh, but yeah, that was a while ago now. It's a distant memory, it feels like, with how this race series has gone. But the funny thing is, the Astros have won their division series, so it's just insane, man. They they didn't even have a 500 record this year. This year is baseball, obviously. It's just not. My uncle says this year doesn't count. Like he's like the Yankees don't want, don't don't win the World Series. Like you don't want that. It doesn't count. People are going to be talking about them not, not it not counting for the rest of the time. I'm like, dude, it does count. <laughs> like, come on, you still want to win. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see how true that is. But I mean, he's right. Like, nobody got a full season. I mean, if the Yankees didn't win, they would have the better. Uh, how do we do this? There's a way to heal the pet. I don't know what the button would be. Huh? Not that. I don't. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, but no, like, if the Yankees didn't win, they would have the better way to say it, like, because their, one of their, like, starting pitchers has been hurt the whole time, and he's, like, directly blaming the situation with baseball, like, he's like, I did not get enough preparation, and I got hurt because of it, like, he's saying this confidently, he's kind of an idiot, to be honest, I really don't like the guy personally. Uh, but I maybe he's right. I don't know. Um, and then two of our best relievers have been completely. I mean, well, one of them is actually injured. Tommy Canley is like a big part of that Yankees bullpen, and he's not been here the whole season. Uh, it's not like he's he's not Aurelius Chapman or even Chad Green, but there's a couple times in the playoffs already where I'm like, ah, oh, we really needed Canley for that spot. They brought in Jonathan Loisinga, who's who's good young throws hard but he's just very inexperienced and I'm like that would be Canley if, it, if the season was going properly that would be Tommy Canley in that spot so disappointing on that front that he got hurt and again Paxson came to blame Canley's injury on the, the low prep time too but like pretty sure he had like a severe injury I don't think <laughs> and, and anyway I don't know what's true or not and then also the funniest thing about this season is that I would say, besides Cole, our two best pitchers are not able to pitch. One of them was um, Domingo Herman, who is serving a self-imposed... Well, not self-imposed, but like... The Yankees, uh, last year, they had a party. It's uh, Sabathia had like some kind of party. It was like his last event as a Yankee, right? So he retired. His last event as a Yankee... And apparently at that party, Domingo Herman was involved in a domestic dispute with his wife. Or maybe girlfriend, I don't know. But either way, I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know what actually happened. But let's put it this way. It was so bad that without anybody even knowing what it was, the Yankees suspended him. They, they suspended him before anybody even acted on the topic. It's like, oh... So it must have been something. My mom says it's something like huge. Like he probably like beat the fuck out of her or something like that in in like broad daylight or something. Why else would that did that happen? Like what team in the middle of a postseason puts their best pitcher? You know, like that, that that's their best pitcher. Domingo Homan was their best pitcher last year, and it's only because Severino got hurt. So the young pitchers 
have been pretty important for the Yankees recently. And now they got a new one coming up too. Oh, that's it. Devi Garcia. Uh, he's pitched really well this year. So um, he's going to be a future player for them too. So Tanaka, his contract is over this year. Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees pitcher. His contract is over this year. And I would not be surprised at all if he does not return next year. Because, oh, look at that. Transmog too. Oh, that's a good transmog. Damn. Wow, that's cool. Glad I got that. Um, but his contract is over this year, and he pitched really poorly in his one postseason or his two postseason starts. And Jay Happ, another guy who's probably not going to be here next year. Um, I, I don't. I, I really. I would be surprised if any of these pitchers were here next year because if Herman comes back and is effective, which I don't. Yeah, I hope. I hope he will be. To be honest, that was his first season as a Yankee, and he's already suspended. So who knows what it's going to be like? He might come back and suck. Um, but between Garcia, Herman, and Luis Severino, who's like probably like 28 or 29 now, he's not that young anymore. They have three amazing young pitchers, like who should be able to pitch for another five to ten years for this team easily, you know. Um, and I think that's what they need right now. They need young kids who can get depth and get experience now. So, you know, a couple years down the road when everything's matured and the, the, you know everybody's hitting and not injured every year. I don't know if that's ever going to change, but then, you know, you have a good... Because that's the, if they lose the series, it's going to be because of pitching. Game 2 was an absolute joke. I don't know what the hell anybody was thinking. That was the dumbest idea I've ever seen. And game 3 wasn't any better, and really, Game 4 was the only... You know, it wasn't even because of Montgomery. Montgomery's good. He's okay. I'm not a big fan of Colin, or Colin Montgomery. Who's that? It's somebody else. Um, I'm not a big fan of Jordan Montgomery, but he is pretty... He's tall. He's bulky. He, you know, he pitches with authority, um, but he was another one who had severe injury that missed, I think, at least two seasons, actually. So, um, I would like to see more, like, fresh faces come up and be effective like these, those three guys I mentioned. So, we'll see. It's going to be an interesting year, and the next time we talk about baseball, it will be long past the season's end. So, so that's it. We're done with this. I'm going to go make the gear. And I think we'll head back to Shatrath and get rested or something. Well, let's plan out the future. Let's do that, too. Uh, well, we can actually level. I should, I should, I should, I should. You know what? Forget it. We're going to go level. This is uh, maybe a little bit of a detour, but we're going to just level. I um, don't think it's going to take that long. I have a bunch of rested, so... Yeah, I'm going to level. And the reason I'm going to level, I'm going to tell you guys a tip. I'm, nobody's going to be watching this, so it's a relevant tip. But I'm going to tell it anyway... Um, for some reason in Shadowlands, I guess maybe just to be kind, they're giving a, a free level, basically. Like, when you squish down, so say if I squish down to level, for if I'm going to be 74, so I should be like, what, 28 or something like that? I don't, I don't exactly know, but anyway, say I'm, say I'm like, it'd be like 28 and a half, right? Well, instead of dealing with that, they're just giving everybody 29. You're going to start at 28 with one experience needed. So, um, if it's not like a complete, I don't, I don't actually, I haven't seen a single character that doesn't start like that. So I don't think that's going to change in the next three days. Um, but yeah, every character I transferred over to the PTR and beta has always been like that, where they start with one, one experience needed to get to the next level. So I'm hoping I, I, that might not be true. Like maybe the thing that I'm thinking of is if I start if I transferred 74 with zero experience into the next level, because the thing I'm thinking is it's like it just keeps the flat amount of experience that you have for the next level. And because of the squish, that's just way more than you need always. Or like say if I had, so I need 247,000 experience right now. Well, to get this same level next week, it's only going to be like 15,000 experience or something like that because of the squish, right? So... No matter what, as long as I have 15,000 experience, I would basically gain a full level anyway, you know? So maybe I'm actually doing this the opposite, but I do think that it's something worth doing. So we'll level to 74, and then next time we log on, we'll be 75 if this works the way I think it is. So I don't know. It's Again, my goal isn't necessarily to level. It's, <laughs> it's to get all these things done. So we might as well continue getting a little bit more life. Although I don't think I need any more life. So I'm kind of just wasting my own time, but... We'll do it. We only need, like, looks like about maybe 15 kills. Rested is pretty powerful. 
Now we could have put one of these potions on too, but these things are still gonna work, right? Where are they? I have them, don't I? Yeah, I see them. Right here. They are gonna work, right? I assume. Next expansion. Next uh, next week. I'm excited though. I can't. I really hope that they do end up uh, changing this gear profession thing because it does kind of suck. I don't know what the hell, why it's like that. Why some pieces can and can use the thing, and the other pieces can't use the thing. I'm assuming it's an error, but let's. We'll wait to find out. You never know. I might. I might be missing something, but I just. I can't understand how the helmet could use the optional reagent and the chest cannot use the optional reagent. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Makes no sense whatsoever. No, is the pet dead? But yeah, so tonight is going to be a very interesting game. I, I'm I'm really interested to see what happens with Glasnow because I'm actually more interested to see what happens with Glasnow than with Cole because I trust that Cole can pitch well on three days rest. I don't know. <laughs> if he can't, let's put it this way. I, people were talking about it last night. They're like, he's never pitched on three days rest, dude. He's not going to want to do it. He, he'll, he'll probably do it, but it's going to be like mentally it's going to be tough for him. I'm like, dude, if that's the case, trade him. Like for real. You just got a nine-year, $235 million deal. If you're not, if you don't have the mental fortitude to pitch on three days rest in the postseason to win, to try to win a world championship your first year there, just get off the team. What are you doing? You know, I'm pretty sure you could get, Tanaka could do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, but I don't think that's real. That's just people talking. Typical, I'll tell you what, New York, New York's fan bases are hilarious, man. I've never seen somebody have more of a toxic relationship with a sports team than New York fans. I'm not from New York. I'm from Pennsylvania. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I wouldn't count myself in this. But I do have, I do exhibit symptoms of it at times. But, like, people who actually live in New York City, it's so bizarre. Like, I've never seen such a toxic relationship with, like, an entity before. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I tried to interrupt it. It doesn't interrupt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm an idiot. You need the actual pet out to be able to interrupt. That's right. I knew there was something weird about it. But anyway, um, like, if, if let's put it this way, like, Aaron Judge having, like, a really bad postseason, like, terrible, actually. Um, he had, like, two home runs, and that's it. He has three hits total, and two of them are home runs, which is fine, but not good, obviously. Um, if he continues to suck right now, they're going to, like, they're gonna like hang him. Like they would kill him if they. I I, I think legit legitimately they would like want him traded if they. Like there's people out there who think like Aaron Judge should not be on the team next year. <laughs> like you know what I mean? It's like dude, you have a whole section of the stadium dedicated to him. Like are you serious? You know what I mean? Like that's not gonna happen. But there's people out there who like think like, trade him. He sucks. It's like. Uh. <laughs> I mean, especially because the injuries, like, at least it is a valid complaint there because, like, the dude's injured every every freaking week, but he's been fine. I think a lot of the injury, quote-unquote, this year was, like, the Yankees injuring him. It was just, like, Zion Williamson and Duke. I don't know how many people care about basketball, too, but Zion Williamson was not hurt. He could have easily played through what happened to him, but Krzyzewski was like, we don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. You're not playing. You know what I mean? You're you're not gonna go out there and potentially hurt yourself even worse. It, the same thing has actually happened. Alvin Gentry did the same thing with uh, the Pelicans. He like had like a minor, he like slipped or something like that, something ridiculous, like not not an injury, and he missed like freaking 16 weeks or something like that. It was ridiculous. Um, so I don't know. You just take different steps towards your your stars. You know what I mean? This is gonna be the last mob. It looks like. So that's pretty much what they did with Aaron Judge. Like, he probably could have played. I mean, let's put it this way. Luke Voigt has been injured the entire season, and he's played every game. So, 
not every game. He was he did miss some games for a while there, but I think he realized that sitting out is not going to get. Let, let's put it this way: he's not Greg Bird. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't know how many Yankees fans would be watching, but Greg Bird, my God, he was the starting first baseman before Luke Voigt, and he was just so injury prone. It was unbelievable. He, he apparently he had an extra bone in his ankle or his foot or something like that. I mean, I don't know if that's real or not, but that's what I was told by the the press. He had like extra bones in his foot, and he broke them. And the, the doctors were like, "We don't know what to do. You don't need these bones, basically." He broke a bone that doesn't is doesn't have a fun like some vestigial bone in his in his foot. He broke it, and they're like, I, I, "That's that's apparently what was like happened." I don't I don't know how real that is, but that's what Yankees fans are saying at the time. They're like, "He's gonna always be injured because he has a broken bone in his foot, and they don't know what to do about it." They're like, "They should remove it, but you can't because then he would be in pain." I like I don't know. So, yeah, that dude was. Literally, like, hurt every... He was he was there for, like, three years, and he was he probably missed, like, 50% of the games. But anyway, that's it. Let's make all these things. Vendor all this stuff. We're going to DE that item, too. And we got a leather helm. I haven't... So I have this new add-on. Um, since the last time I played it, I got this new add-on. It shows me I haven't collected this on a leather character. The problem is... It, I kind of want the DE materials more than the transmog, honestly. I'm sure I could just go buy that for like 10 gold or something, so. We're not going to trade it to a different character, but. Now I know we can if we ever see anything like that. Pretty cool. I like that, Adam. I don't actually remember what it's called, though, sadly. Let's see if I get I don't bring it up and I don't tell you what it is. That doesn't work anymore. Let's see, add-ons. Uh, better wardrobe, that's it. Oh, better wardrobe tooltips, especially. That's the main thing. What other add-ons do I have on this character? Not many. Mythic dungeon tools, for some reason. That's just probably because it got updated and added to the list. Bunch of DBM stuff. Using very few add-ons. Oh yeah, Queso. I downloaded Queso since the last time I used played this character and I never set it up on this character. It's a pretty cool... Uh... Oh, look at that. A level 87 is here. What's he doing? Yo, he's he's doing a blacksmith challenge too, I bet. Look, he's crafting stuff. What's he doing? Damn. But anyway, um, yeah, cake though, pretty cool add-on. Oh, shattered halls. Okay, we'll do this too. We still have plenty of time. Oh yeah, we got a long time still. Yeah, no rush at all here. Okay, let's go uh, do this dungeon. What does that say? Is that a joke? See this person's guild name and his actual name. What the fuck? Whoa, this is a bunch of people from this guild. What? I don't know how they're getting away with that. I don't know, like, it's hard to take that. I never know how to take that when you see something like that. Because it's like, are they kids that are trolling or are they being serious? Like, I, it's really hard to know. We might actually get a full level from that. Let's pick these quests up. We might actually get another full level here. I don't know what any of these quests even are, though, to be honest, so... I don't know if I'll be able to complete them. If I remember correctly, there was quests... Oh, God, again, threat. There was quests for, like, uh, killing a bunch of mobs that were, like, optional or something like that. I don't know. Wait, do we have tracking on? I don't even... I haven't had a quest in forever. I haven't done a quest in forever. No, we don't. We have it off, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I freaking love the way that you can do this, to be honest. I quite like this whole situation. Oh, is that a blood decay? Did I just see a blood decay? Yes, 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 yeah, it's blood decay, torn blood decay. What's this guy doing, AFK? Come on, don't, don't let me down, bro. He whiffed with the blood boil. Don't think we need CC. This guy's got sick transmog though. That's one thing I never do is transmog while leveling. But I guess if you have heirlooms on, it's easier. Spend a lot of money doing it otherwise. 
Oh yeah, well we kind of need our uh, spellbook here because we don't. If we want to have any type of performance, we need to know a couple things. I don't actually know what to do here. I literally don't have any AoE other than... Right? Am I wrong about that? Just spread this around until I get soul shards. Your reign of fire is not going to supersede mine, my friend. Wish I had Inferno for this, though. Let's get this thing broken. I don't know what's with the CC all of a sudden. Wait, do I not have a pet out? Oh, the interrupt is just on cooldown. It's a long interrupt, I forgot. I'm used to melee interrupt. I was like, why did that interrupt not interrupt it? Torrin Death Strike looks pretty cool, to be honest. Not a big fan of Torrin's, like, other animations, but Torrin Death Strike, that's so freaking cool. Look at that. That is so cool. That's what that overhand red slash thing was. Playing good pack for Infernal. Oh, I should save some soul shards for the next pack. This guy's pulled threat though, huh? Jeez. Well, that's not gonna be an issue. Yeah, you gripped the wrong one, buddy. Hate to tell you. It's fine. We'll just pull him back. Help him get him back. If you're gonna do that, you should always grip a caster because the rest will funnel in. But otherwise, fight them where they stand. There's no reason not to. Oh, dead for some reason. Too close to something, I think maybe. Burning rush. Does a lot of damage. That's more damage than I expected. Already gained a lot of a lot of the level. Who the hell's the healer? The shaman? Why does it not show up? No, it's the we have a priest. Yeah. Need to get a soul shard so I can summon a pet. I hate that like tank tank AFK thing where they just sit there like for 30 seconds every pack. Okay, listen, if I have threat dude, we got a problem for real. Like you blow. That's embarrassing. I literally don't even have gear in most slots. I have no idea what I'm doing either. I'm <laughs> just putting dots and hoping that's doing damage. Maybe this is how you're supposed to play, just spread dots though? I don't think so. There's only one dot, so I doubt it. I guess it does generate a lot of soul shards. I'm pretty sure I'm meant to be using like Havoc or whatever it is and I never use it. By the time I get everything going, it seems like it's too late. Oh, he's lagging too. Oh, he's from Gallywix, what a surprise. Okay, fire. See, like, I literally pulled threat with Rain of Fire. Like, come on, are you serious, dude? Use Blood Boil once. What are you doing? Wow, this tank is terrible. It's not me who has threat. He's just AFK, I guess, yeah. Ah, oh, really hate to use this here, but I think we're gonna wipe if we don't. Tank's offline, yeah. We wiped anyway. Well, I'm not really trying to wait for a new tank. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, better get moving on this, though. How does this work? Wow, it's been a long time since I've done a dungeon like this. Long, long, long time. 
So we get the Void Walker out for a bit. Usually when something like this happens, I like the whole group just disbands. But maybe not. We do have some capable players, it looks like. What's that guy, a rogue? He's got shovels on. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, good. We killed some things at least. Probably pull the next pack too. Usually a lot of the trash can be done with one tank, but or with no tank, but probably not op op optimal. Uh, we can kill some of this shit, I think. As long as the Void Rocker gets threats, why is he not getting threat? Problem is get getting threat. That's the issue. I don't know what that even does. Temporarily increases current and maximum health, I see. As long as the Voidwalker had threat, it would be easy, but... Keep getting friggin' locked. Alright, this is actually an easy pack, it's only... a fear a hound. It's only a single range mob, basically. Yeah, that was non not difficult. Good thing he was mostly here for the previous pack. Or he did some things on the previous pack. Down here will be interesting now. I wonder, you used to be able to uh, send the pet through the door. Wait, what? Did I just open the door? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? You can just skip that bottom part now? Maybe that's just how it is now, yeah. That's strange. I didn't know that was the case. Oh, what a waste. We're getting that. Uh, wait, what was that? Oh, a scroll. I thought I got a pattern. Don't waste your time on that one. He's weak. Damn. I was going to kill him anyway. So rogue AFK now too. Where's the rogue? Yeah, just back there, AFK. Jesus. Alright, three man of the dungeon. Not really what I signed up for. Actually, I think the pattern is from this boss, isn't it? I don't even know what I'm looking for, honestly. Wait, we just pulled? Uh, yeah. About that. I don't think we're doing this boss. Especially because the healer's locked out. Is he trying to open the door? I don't think it works that way. I don't think it works that way, but I... How does he get threat when he's not even doing anything? Brain life gonna save me? Oh, he opened it. What the hell? Is it gonna reset? No. Doesn't look like it. Uh, what am I even looking for in here, though? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Oh, obviously an unlearned pattern, right? What the hell am I doing? Not looking for a pattern that I know. That would be frivolous. Oh, there's like a helm or something, I think, right? Steam Vault, Battle Cast Hood. Oh, God. Primal Might 8. I don't even know if we want these. Yeah, yeah, this is actually the boss I need it from. Spell Strike Hood. We have Primal Nether already? How is that possible? Oh, I think I might have bought them or something. I don't know how I have those already. Primal Might is the alchemy thing, so. Oh, this boss is still here, yeah. Lust. Fair idea there. Well, the rock alley is just caring, so it's good to see that. Destro Warlock with Lust is pretty good. Oh, that's cool. I put Emulation up after I use whatever the hell it's called. 
Wait, how has he done that? Oh, the mob got feared. I don't think he did that. Well. Anyway, I put Immolation up after I used Chaos Ball, and it, since Chaos Ball has a travel time, it consumed the Immolation afterwards, which is, yeah, I see. Immolation is instant. Chaos Ball does not. That's pretty cool. Well, honestly, I'll probably just leave then after this, because this is actually all I need. I'm not finding a tank anyway, so. Oh my god, we're going to die. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Kill it. What are you doing? Just finish it up. This guy's just running around. Dude, it's not gonna stop. <laughs> Will I get a res or what? Just run back if not. Always resin, yep. Dude, I can't wait to play Shaman. Shaman's... I really can't wait to play Shaman, actually. Shaman and pre-patch is gonna be like Omega fun. Or, I don't know. They're gonna be cool. I'm excited. Didn't get it. Uh, did we finish any of these quests? Is that one of the quests? What was that that I just got? I don't even know what that is. I did, what was that? Oh, gather a fell. Oh, wait, wait. I think we can just do this right now, yeah. It's something like in the... In the room, I think, right? Oh, no, it's pointless doing this anyway, to be honest. Maybe it'll give a green week a DE. Okay, let's go turn that in. Yeah, oh yeah, it'll give boots we can DE. Although they're blue, I don't necessarily need the shards. I need the dust. Oh well, let's do that and then that'll be it. Oh, we have a tank now. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to end, end it up though. There's no reason to continue. Can we, Can I die from this? It just ends. Wait, we can't turn it in? Oh my god. Alright, don't worry about it. No big deal. Let's just leave. Okay, fun little time here. But, uh, hey, that's it. Don't really need uh, anything but that boss. I wouldn't mind doing it. But, no reason to waste any more time here. Okay, so let's get this stuff crafted here, finally. Um, okay, so, what are we going to craft? First, we're going to make one more... Wait, let's make 100% sure on this. Where's the belt? Primal Mooncloth belt. Yep. I was going to say we don't have enough, but that's because... We haven't done it yet. Well, now we have one extra. What happened? We just... Yeah, we just farmed too much, that's why. Okay, so, Primal Moon Cloth. We can also make a Spell Cloth. I don't even know where you get Primal Mana, honestly. I don't know how I got that. I probably bought it or something. Okay, we have now Primal Moon Cloth. And time to make the belt. Oh yeah, we'll go and get uh, gems, too. I don't actually know where you can get gems. I, the only place I remember is in Hellfire Peninsula. But that's it. We finally... We did it. 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 Oh my god, we did it. We finally got that. We get the Transmog 2. Oh, big plays. The 3 set is there, guys. And this is going to work in Shadowlands. So, I'll tell you what. Allow 5% of your mana regen to continue while casting. Maybe that's overpowered for a healer. I don't think so, but you never know. Um, presumably, the sockets maybe have value. I don't know exactly how sockets are going to work in Shadowlands. But, it's like if the item's for level 50s now... What happens? You know what I mean? That's the question. Like, what actually happens? Who knows? Do, do the Can you use BFA gems in them? I think you might be able to. So, yeah. Pro you probably can, so... That'd be interesting. But anyway, let's go wrap this guy up here. And then we'll run all the way back to Shatrath, and that'll be it. So, what is the future going to look like? Unfortunately, I don't know how much more gear we can craft. I mean, I want to get these transmogs anyway. So even if I craft the gear and don't wear it until I finish the challenge, I mean, I guess that's perfectly on the table, but you see how slow this was going to be. So it's, it's almost, I'm glad that I didn't push through it. I mean, we basically gained, I mean, what's our actual slash plate here? Oh my God. A, almost two days and we're only 75. That's wild. This is 18 parts as well. This is the 18th part. This is going to go probably 40, 50 parts if we don't wait for Shadowlands. So I'm happy with that. Um, 
reputation from killing monsters. Interesting. Rep is going to be a weird thing. Oh yeah, we have to. Hey, let's do that. Oh, I forget. Oh, we got another BOE. Oh no, that's the piece I just replaced. Of course, yeah. Uh, I think that's going to de into classic materials, which I kind of can't be asked with right now. I don't even want them. I'll just under that. I need arcane dust though. Actually, that is classic materials, isn't it? Rich illusion dust. Light illusion. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Now I just have some needless item in my bags that I'm not going to have any use for. The slight amount of gold would have been better. Oh yeah, we can go throw some of the stuff on the auction house again and check prices on stuff. So yeah, so what is the future going to look like? Anyway, um, I don't know when this will happen. Maybe never. But if I am allowed to continue making gear and wear it at some point in the expansion uh, in Shadowlands... When we return to this, it will be done with Spellfire. Spellfire spell will be next. I would like to get the transmogs anyway, um, like I said. But, um, yeah, I, I guess just keep trying to get these patterns. There's a lot of patterns. There's a lot of them. Like, a lot of patterns. It's a little bit difficult to get them all, honestly. Because a lot of them are in really specific areas that we'll never really get to. Oh, Scryer stuff as well. Leg enchants. That's a lot of primal mana. Okay, uh, yeah. We'll be ever using that. Wow. Um, but this is like a really good item, right? I mean, is it? 70? These are 80. What the hell? This is worse? I don't get it. I thought these were like really good items. That's strange. Well, who knows? I don't think any of this is going to actually be able to be used, though, out of the gate. But we'll probably just keep trying to get it. I mean, what is this? The Botanica? Warlord Calithresh. So this is the last piece. This is the last boss. This one, Shattered Halls, we only need the first boss. Botanica. Warp Splinter. I think that's the last. I don't know what that is. Um, these are raids. I mean, I guess we can do raids. I don't I don't really know how the raids are going to work with Chromie Time. Well, I, I've seen it. You can't enter them. But, yeah, maybe there's a way we just turn it off, I guess, eventually and do them. Uh, closed it. God damn it. Like an idiot, because I was worried about dying there. This is enchanting anyway. Oh, my God. The amount of times I've done that in this playthrough. I can only imagine. It's probably in the hundreds. Probably just remove enchanting at this point. I'm trying to run to my death here, but... Okay, so shoulders are, like, completely out. They're all from raids. Phantom Attendant. What's that, just trash? Oh, and then it requires soul cloth. That's a whole different thing. How does that even work? Soul Essence, which is something that only drops in Karazhan, if I remember. The Sun Oil, oh boy. Is there any, like, really good transmogs? Oh, the Mechanar, too. Wait, is that not on the list of dungeons we have queued for? Oh, no, it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I give my old self too little credit, honestly. I thought this all out. Sunfire Robe. Soulcloth Vestment. But so, like, I wonder, like, since these are blue, maybe I can use these. Al Aldor Exalted. We're going to have a, a hard look at this when we have the opportunity to do so. Bracers are another one that I really could use. This is just another pattern. This is just a BOE pattern. Whenever it says treasure, it's just a BOE pattern. So maybe we should check the auction house too. We can do that. Let's go buy this gem and then we'll head back to Sharath. World creatures. Yeah, let's go see if there's any auctions. You never know. It is this person over here. Okay, intellect gem. This is going to be like one intellect after the squish, I'm sure, but... Better than nothing. Plus the socket will still work, I assume. And that'll be one intellect too, so... I assume. I don't think they're going to nerf two intellect to, to 0.5 intellect or something. That is kind of the thing about a squish that's like kind of an awkward thing. Like, they've already squished a lot of this stuff. So, like, this is two intellect. That's already been squished, you know what I mean? So it's going to be squished again. So it's just going to be one intellect. So it's just going to get, like, more powerful relative to the... It's, it basically got stronger every time they squished it, I think. 
But anyway. Um, well, let's have one more look at the rest of this. Yeah, we'll quickly go to uh, chat with, check what's out there. And that'll be it. Oh, was, wait. Oh, there's multiple things from some dungeons? Battle cast. I just don't understand this. I wonder if it only drops on Heroic or something. Shadow Labs. Do we have that in the queue? No. Why not? I thought I gave myself too little credit, but maybe it's the opposite. Boots of, boots of Blasting. Boots of the Long Road. World Creatures. Honored. Oh, that's a raid. Yeah, I can't get that. Mechanar. There's a lot of freaking stuff. I wonder, like, it says treasure, but, like, what's the reality that it comes from a treasure? It's just completely random, right? It can drop from anything in the, in the expansion? Is that how it works? We have to look into this. Oh, Primal Air. I haven't seen a lot of that. Primal Air is probably the hardest thing to, to farm for, because there's only got one good spot in the whole expansion. Well, besides the Elemental Plateau, which I guess we can eventually go to if we want to. I like to not use flying, but since that's the only way to get up there, I might have to just get flying and just use it up there. But uh, Let's take a look. I want to see what Wowhead says about some of these patterns real quick. Because it is a bit odd. I really wish you can just permanently disable these. Okay, um, Resolute Cape. Let's just look that up real quick. Okay, actually do it on stream, too. I changed some settings on that, too. Uh, Resolute Cape. Capturing the desktop now, or the monitor instead of the desktop, so it's smoother. I don't know. Nobody's talking about the pattern. Uh, what about Wowhead? What are they saying about the pattern? Top by? Oh, okay. That's why we're not looking at the pattern. We're looking at the... Yeah, it looks like it can just drop from anything. Patterly, definitely one of the tougher patterns to add. Less than 1% drop rate. It brings a good premium in the auction house so the sellers know what they have. On my server, this one... Oh, that's like mad old. <laughs> 1.2k gold. Um... Yeah, it just can drop from anywhere, I guess. So this is the kind of this this is kind of cool to be honest. I kind of like this. Like, we might just while leveling in in this expansion, we might just randomly get like a major thing. Like, and it might be like, yo, I don't even want it. I'm just gonna sell it. Like, yeah, you know, to be honest, like if it drops, I might not even take it. It might be more profitable. To, like if I sold one of these for like fifty thousand gold or something like that, forget it. Like <laughs> forget about leveling. That's superseding the value of it. You know what I'm saying? Patterns BOE though, it does look like that, so hopefully we can pick something up maybe for cheap, but I don't think I have enough money. Let's say, uh, here, you know what we'll look for? Since it's probably going to confuse a lot of people. Um, what am I doing? Just clicking random tabs. Let's say Coil Scar Chest, I think it's called, right? I want to look at what Wowhead says about that, because I bet there'll be people talking about important stuff on that. That's a good thing about Wildhead Man, the, the comment section. Yeah, Coil Scar Chest. Let's take a look at that. I don't even know what that is. I do have to move it, though, just so I can actually see, because we're almost at the end here. Uh, okay, so... Literally just spent almost half an hour farming these chests. Keys are super simple to get as they drop off every other color scar you kill, and the chests themselves are all over the place. I came here in hopes of some engineering schematics, as the in-game unlearned spell listing says that these chests contain it. And after almost one hour of farming, I farmed that the chests gave me gray and white trash items. Mostly fish oil and gray shiny fish scales, as an occasional white... Okay, blah, blah. Absolutely zero plans, schematics, blah, blah. If it wasn't for coil scar themselves dropping an occasional BOE, I would have given up farming any of the chests long ago. 
So if you're seeing the wildhead listing due to seeing, if you're seeing this wildhead listing due to seeing chest listed, I suggest you ignore it and instead look up the plan itself. Yeah, I think obviously that's correct. He says, uh, it's either incorrect or it's abysmally small, so you're better off going to the location point. It just can drop from anything in the expansion. So for some reason it's on there. I don't know why, but I don't, I don't know why that would be the case. But yeah, it's it can drop from anything in the expansion, so those chests can drop it. It's just the same chance to drop it as like a, a mob or something, I think. I'm not sure why they did that. But. This guy has a list of everything that's said to have dropped from these. and Who knows if any of them do have, have like, who has actually gotten a pattern from one of these is the question, right? Uh, where's the actual enchant? Or the... It's right here, right? Yeah, last time we, we saw some price manipulation we could do. 300, 211, 350. We have no arts right now. Well, that's why we bought, we have Primal Nether. Why are they three gold each? I honestly should buy some, I think. Just because they're so cheap. Primal Life. That's so weird. I guess nobody does anything with them, so they're just useless. Mode of Earth. Oh, this is the other thing. It's like we had so moats. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. We bought moats and then turned them into... That's what we did, yeah. Moats were like super cheap. Like I think they were like less than half of what the actual primal water would be. That's why we sold those. Um, how about primal Earth? I don't know if we even need primal Earth or anything. It's pretty cheap, but I, don't, I legitimately don't think we need a single one of those. Primal mana would be the main thing. If we're going to make a spell cloth, we're going to need a ton of these. Okay, so there's nothing. Let's see patterns. How does that work? Recipes, tailoring. Problem is I don't know what I'm looking at. Boots of blasting. Isn't that one of these? Yeah, it definitely is. I just don't know what I'm looking at, though. Is there any way to immediately... I guess it's because it requires level 70. Swift Heal Mantle requires level 70. I'm just going to buy it. I mean, these are ridiculously cheap. I don't know how they're so cheap. Boots of Blasting. 10 gold. Anything that says level 70, I guess I'll just buy it. Bolt of Soul Cloth? Wait, why would somebody need to buy that? Is that actually rare to get? Uh, I'm not going to buy that. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything in Karazhan. Mantle of Nimble Thought. 45 gold. That's a shoulder piece. Let's get that. Oh, True Faith Vestiments. Damn. 55 gold. Hmm. Um, that's 80. Red Mage Weave. 90. Coming up to being only able to buy like one more piece here. Royal Moonshot. That's Wrath? Uh... Definitely here. Let's just look at epics. First of all, definitely not uncommon. Let's start with that. Is there also a way level range? 80? 80. That should work. No. Because the level range is not what they're looking at. The item itself is the thing that has the level range. What's going on here? Item range, it's not the same. Uh, is there any way? I don't know. There's got to be a way, but I don't know it. Skill. That doesn't help. Gold. Let's see what the highest piece is. Robe of the Void. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's a level 70 or 60 thing. 
What is this, not in the game anymore? Why is it 192,000 gold? I gotta look this up. Robe. Robe of the Void. Is it actually not in the game anymore? Where the hell does it drop from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Not in the game anymore. Holy shit. I wonder why. Dude, I should buy that. Jesus. Well, how did... What? What were you supposed to... I don't know. How did you even get it? I don't get it. Um, is there any actual robes of the void? Like, this might literally be worth just buying this and selling it over and over again. No, there's only the pattern, and there's two. Wow. 192,000 gold, damn. I mean, it's not very nice looking, to be honest. I have blue dragon scale. I should always look for this, honestly. Oh, there's the shoulders up now. Shit. That is such a nice male piece, by the way. But if the pattern ever was on the auction house, I would do whatever I had to do to get it. Who is selling that? How, can't you see who's selling it? Tiplet from Vash. Oh, yeah. Vash is now connected with us. Damn. This guy's like some collector or something. Damn, man. If that pattern was ever... I don't know if it's even possible to buy the pattern. I honestly might go buy those, to be honest. I freaking love this set. Like, legitimately, I might go buy those right now. 300,000 gold, though, for two items. Uh, I just wish the pattern... I would buy... If it was 500,000 gold for two two items, I would buy a pattern for sure. So then I'd be able to make it. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. Um, What was I looking at? I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's go back. I want to keep looking at this. Uh, where is it? Consumables? No. Trade? No. Wait, what? Recipes, recipes. I was looking for patterns, and that's not what it said. So what else? Rich purple. Why is that? What? Is that also removed? Why would anybody buy that? It looks stupid. Gloves of spell mastery. Is this an... Oh, that's actually quite good looking, honestly. That looks like a leather piece. Gloves of spell mastery. See, professions are fun, man. I'll tell you what. Like, there's a lot going on with these old professions. Confirm dropped off Nefarian. Oh. Okay, so why is anybody trying to sell that for that much? Kind of rude. 100,000 gold, are you joking? Uh, it is pretty cool, though, to be honest. Mooncloth circlet, 67,000. Moon. It's starting to dawn on me, though, that I should probably start leveling these characters on, like, really populated realms instead. Like, this is actually uh, an impressive amount of stuff for Fire Tree. They've connected so many realms to it now, I guess, though. It's just kind of getting out of control, but... Our auction house is famed for being horrible. Like, nothing ever useful and nothing ever sells. I don't know what... Yeah, I mean, it's still in the game, so I don't know. Where's it drop from? Just anywhere, it looks like, yeah. That's the thing, we might be here for all day looking at this stuff. Unyielding Girdle, what is that? Resolute Cape, there's one of the items we were talking about. Well, if it ever drops, <laughs> we can try to sell it, I guess. Vengeance Wrap. Anyway, way too much money. Look for one more thing underneath 174 gold. 80, 80, 70. Mantle of Nimble Thought. Oh, shit, that is amazing looking. I haven't bought one of these yet, have I? <laughs> That's a good question. Let me just make 100% sure, because that is awesome looking, and we're buying that if it can be bought. Or should be bought. What is this?
Oh, I did buy it already. <laughs> okay, wow. Uh, dodged a bullet there. Uh, let's just keep those in our bag just to make sure we don't end up buying the same thing twice. The eternal sun guides us. So basically anything under 100 gold is on the table. 150 gold. Nothing really worth looking at though. These blues. Imbued silk weave flourish. That's not... Nothing close. Definitely wish. Okay, so we already bought that. Not buying it a second time. That's probably it. I probably have seen everything under this now. True faith vestments though. Honestly... It's a cool look, man. I I don't think I have that transmog. Or maybe I do. How can I tell? I don't know what's going on with that add-on. It says you have not collected this appearance, though. So. It's only 55 gold. Maybe I should buy it. I might, honestly. Where does this even drop from? Let's let's just make sure I'm not wasting time. True faith. This dropped from the last boss in uh Baron, Baron, whatever, Baron Rivendare drops it, right? Oh no, Balnazar. Oh. The crafted robe is buying on pickup. Wait, maybe that's not true anymore, though. Well, let's find out. I don't want to buy it if it's. Yeah, it says BOP. Yeah, fuck. Huh, that's awkward. Why is that still the case? Well, that's unfortunate. I was going to buy that and make that because I like that transmog. Uh, and that's it, pretty much. Let's see if there's anything else. Boots of Blasting. We already purchased that, right? Okay, those are the three things we bought. Cool. Well, we got some patterns at least. Let's see what they require. Swift Heal Mantle. Oh. Well, Heart of Darkness. Let's see how much Heart of Darkness go for. Because this is a... Oh, wait. It's like the same. <laughs> They're similar. Must be a tier set from... Oh, they're only two gold each. <laughs> well, we can make those. I'm sure they're not going to be able to be worn if any of them can't be, but... Let's see. Boots of Blasting. They're kind of cool looking boots. So, spellcloth, Shadowcloth, Rune Thread. Well, that's easier to make at least. And Mantle of Nimble Thought. More Heart of Darkness. Well, yeah, that's from the raid, obviously, so. Cool, well, we'll see. I don't know, in the future, if if things work the way they do now in the future, we have a lot of things we wanna craft. If not, we're pretty much just done with the challenge. We're just gonna level the character, I think, because I mean, I'll probably try to craft the things just so I can get them at max level, but there's not going to be any, like, pursuit of it. Like, it's just going to really spoil me. Like, I don't really... I'm not a big fan of it. Let's put it that way. Like, I'm going to be pretty upset if I can't actually upgrade any of this gear on the way. Then it just turns into a whole different type of challenge. Um, but I hope that they will correct that and it will be working properly because I definitely think it's bugged. Let's see how much cloth is going for. 10 gold per bolt. We're gonna need a lot of cloth. Two gold. I might buy this now, honestly. How much can we actually buy? I'm gonna buy a cloth now. Wait, what am I doing? Confused. That's what I'm doing. 75 looks like it. Yeah, okay. 75. I'm gonna buy this cloth now because you never know what's gonna change here in the coming weeks, and we're gonna need a ton of cloth one way or the other, so. The more, the better. Oh, we should probably try to sell some of this stuff that we're not using, too. Okay, we have 87 cloth now. That'll get us at least one more item, I hope. It's tough. Sometimes you need a lot of stuff. How does this work? Oh, uh, yeah, let's look at dust, too, real quick. We just spent all our money, but... Five gold each. You can buy four. That's it, we're broke. I just want to get as much as possible before this expansion launches because you never know what's going to change. And you certainly don't... Uh, yeah, you never know. Like, literally, maybe for some reason this doesn't drop and this is the only amount we'll ever have, you know? 
Who knows? Um, I don't think these will sell, but you never know. Oh, we don't have enough fucking deposit. Are you kidding me? That's pretty scary. These things have a very low deposit. Kill Jade. I mean, I can go vendor something, I guess. Ugh, that sucks. Why would I even vendor? It's soulbound. Literally any of this stuff sold, I'd be happy. I can't. There's nothing I can vendor now. I've already gone too far into this. Maybe I could vendor a potion? How does that... I don't think that works that way. I could vendor some of these. <laughs> Eight gold. I should probably just... Not do that. Just wait until I get more money. Yeah, okay. That's going to be it, guys. It was fun. And then I think we're going to have a long time between the next time we do this. Um, I really like doing this, though. I really wish that... I hope that it will work. I really do. I hope that we can continue to level characters this way. I'll tell you, blacksmithing especially is really, really fun. So I really hope that we can continue to do profession challenges. And I, I like I said, I'm pretty sure that it's a bug and they just are completely oblivious to it because there's so many other things that they need to do first. But if they do ever fix it, we will definitely be doing this. Like this is going to be a main thing I want to do, leveling challenges. And if they don't ever fix it, I'll probably still do it regardless. I definitely want to finish this character off one way or the other. I want to say, hey, I leveled this character. Um, we're definitely going to check out Destro Warlock changes. Like we'll probably maybe just do one of these next week. Just anyway, just to, to, to see, you know, like I won't do much on the character, but we'll see like how the power of the character feels compared to this, how, you know, the spell changes that are going to have happened to Destro feel. In fact, I should take a screenshot of this talent tree or something like that, because um, I bet it's going to all change. I know, I think it's like in this row here, uh, they, maybe they changed it all together, but the, one of these rows, actually, you know what, forget it, let's just look it up right now. Um, Wowhead. No reason not to. Tool talent calculator. Warlock. Warlocks in Wonderland. Okay, there is the new talent tree. Wait, that's Demo. What the hell? Thought I selected Destro. Destro. Okay, so let's compare it. Okay, so out of the gate, no changes. First row, second row, reverse entropy has a different icon for some reason. <laughs> um, using infernal internal combustion. No change there. Flash, flash over. And maybe like some of these talents will change too. Doesn't look like it. Um, this row, burning rush is the only real option I feel like. Unless we need, like, real defense. Okay, Inferno. Oh, yeah, that's already in the game. I didn't realize that. Rain of Fire damage has a 20% chance to generate a Soul Shard Fragment. Rain of Fire damage is increased by 20% has a 20% chance to generate a Soul Shard Fragment. Oh, okay, cool. So that's already in the game. I already have it. Incinerate now hits all enemies near your target. Oh. That's kind of cool. Cataclysm. This is in the game currently. Calls forth the Cataclysm, dealing blah, 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 damage. Well, anyway, we definitely are not going to gain any talents. I think it's still going to be a while before we can get any of these. I actually don't know. Um, it's a level 40 talent now. I think we're going to be in the mid-30s, so... We're probably going to lose a talent, if anything. Uh, yeah, I think when I transferred my Warlock over to the PTR, it was like 32 or something like that, so... We'll probably lose a talent, but then eventually we get this. 45 is really late, but Reign of Chaos. While your initial Infernal is active, every Soul Shard you spend has a 20% chance to summon an additional Infernal that lasts for 10 seconds. Now, I'm pretty sure they just changed it. Um, I, th I think it was just a hotfix on the PTR, though. That's why it's not on the beta calculator. Let's just see. Change it to PTR. Yeah, it's not updated on this either, but that doesn't mean it hasn't changed. So yeah, I think it's now 15% chance for an Inferno that lasts 8 seconds. But if you haven't seen this, um, you should probably go look at a video. By, by the time you watch this video, it's probably completely different. They probably nerfed it. But um, in the pre-patch, I saw a guy who literally just had like 
it was ridiculous. Like the whole f screen was rain of fires. It was ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, if you get a couple infernals out, obviously you're just literally getting five soul shards every second. So it gets pretty out of control. The question is like, I guess how many can you get out in a single infernal? I don't know. I don't know anything about Destro. It's a cool concept though. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be back hopefully soon. I think, like I said, next week, we'll definitely just do one of these one way or the other. Just see where we're at. Take inventory on the character and get acclimated. So this is fun. Last time we'll level a character in Battle for Azeroth. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.